How y'all doing? It's a beautiful fall afternoon here in sunny Ohio. It's not darkest Ohio yet. Uh, I'm here doing a video on the ATAS 25 antenna, how to set this up. Had a subscriber ask me to do this video. He also owns an ATAS and uh, was struggling with it. And I can understand why. This, this antenna can be a challenge at times because it's very dependent on the ground conductivity. Depending on the ground conductivity, it, it can act different ways so i've got a nano vna here which really helps you tune it and uh let me show you what i've got set up right now i've got the three main elements on the antenna so it comes with different elements and they tell you in the instructions how many elements to use per band all three for 40 two or three for 20 and uh, sometimes three works with 20 and when the ground conductivity is high uh, you want to go to two uh, I'm going to tune 40 today because it's the easier band to tune, actually. Um, so I've got the bundle that comes with this of radials, just the three. So it comes with uh, one bundle of three all on one uh, connector. And then it comes with another one they call an extra, which is longer. Uh, I don't use that one. I just use this bundle of three, which I think it's a quarter wave on... Uh, 40 and then two others. I don't even know what length they are to be honest. I've never measured them, but uh, they seem to work. So what I've got is I've got the Nano VNA connected and I actually have it connected using uh, the 16 foot piece of coax that I'm going to use to connect to the radio. Uh, that, that piece of coax actually acts like another radial. Now it's kind of bunched up here, so it's not really doing the duty of a radial when it's coiled like this, but it, it's still you know in the circuit so it's better than not having it at all so you know the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn on the nano vna let me see if i can get a zoom on this i, I hope i can get this in the picture here let's see all right so we've got the nano vna on and what we're going to do is we're going to select the display trace and we only want one trace so i'm going to turn off the other three traces so that it's not such a busy screen so there now i've got just the one trace i'm going to go with the format swr on that one trace and now you'll see uh i've got an swr curve of course it starts at 50 kilohertz and ends at 900 megahertz we don't want to go anywhere near that range so we're going to go back back we're going to go to stimulus. We're going to start. Let's start at uh, 5 megahertz. Okay. And then we're going to stop at, let's say, we'll say 15 megahertz. Okay. Okay. Now you see it's a little, it makes a little more sense. So if I move the antenna around, you'll see the resonant peak moves. You can hear me moving it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to move. Oops, I don't like that glare. It makes it hard for you to see. Let's move our marker. And we're aiming for the 40 meter band. So let's move our marker to 17, let's say 200, right? Now you don't see the marker now, but as I move, as I move the resonant point of the antenna by clicking it up, the marker should come into view when we get there. There it is. You see the marker came down, that number one? So I move until my marker is right at the bottom, as deep as I can get it. And it looks like right there, I've got that tuned right at an SWR of 1.6 to 1. So that would be great right there for... Uh, 40 meters and if I move the marker up I can go boy that glare is terrible I apologize so I can go all the way to the bottom of 40 I'm at 2.7 and the top of 40 oops, I'm at 2.4 so I would have to move that if I wanted you know if I wanted to move let's say I wanted to move to uh, the CW portion of the band all right so we'll, we'll just take that all the way down to 7 adjust that and yeah, there we go click it up 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 
and there we go. So now we're at 1.5 at 7 megahertz. So we're ready to go. And I could, I could even zoom that in more. I mean, if I wanted to get really specific, I could do start. I could say 7.0 megahertz. I could say stop 7.1 megahertz, let's say. So now I'm really zoomed in. And uh, I could move my marker, say, what if we wanted to do PSK, right? What is that, 7074? 7074. And I could go 7074 and I could really dial that in there. And there's a fine tune adjustment here. Of course, when you get down, you see it's kind of squirrely. When you get down this low, it's very touchy. So it helps not to have it zoomed in that far. When you're trying to adjust this, you know, you start with a widespread, it makes it much easier. I mean, if you were trying to adjust this now, if I move this up even a quarter inch it would watch i'll just show you it'll just you know it'll jump out it just becomes crazy so there you go so if i was operating ft8 1.5 to 1 right there so that's it that's that's how to set up the atas um with the vna it really makes quick work of it and uh works great so if you got any questions shoot me a question and i'll Try to do the best to answer as best I can. Take care and have a wonderful day. Casey is a QRP guy.